Okay class, today we're in section 10.5, Interpret Box and Whisker Plots. 10.5, Interpret Box and Whisker Plots. Before, you made stem and leaf plots and histograms. Now you will make and interpret box and whisker plots. Key vocabulary, box and whisker plot, quartile, interquartile range, outlier. A box and whisker plot organizes data values into four groups. Ordered data are divided into lower and upper halves by the median. The median of the lower half is the lower quartile. The median of the upper half is the upper quartile. Example 1. Make a Boskin whisker plot. Song lengths. The lengths of songs and seconds on a CD are listed below. Make a box and whisker plot of the song's lengths. And here we have the song lengths. 173, 206, 179, 257, 198, 251, 239, 246, 295, 181, and 261. Solution. Step 1. Order the data. In other words, put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Then find the median and the quartiles. Alright now as you can see we put the numbers in order from least to greatest. Alright the first thing it tells us to find is the median and the median is the number in the middle. Alright that's our median. Then we find the median of the lower half that's 181 and then we find the median of the upper half that's 257 alright so once again you order the data that means you put the numbers in order from least to greatest you find a number that's in the middle in this case it's 239 that's your median alright so now your, your data is broken up into halves this is one half notice you have one two three four five numbers on this side and you have one, two, three, four, five numbers on that side. So now what's the median of the lower half? 181. What's the median of the upper half? 257. What's the median of all the data? 239. Step two, plot the median, the quartiles, the maximum value, and the minimum value below a number line. So in other words, what you do is you make a number line first, and make sure the number line is covering the spread of your data. So make your number line first. Alright, notice the lowest number up here is 173, but we go as far as 165. And in this case, we're counting by 15s as we go along. Okay, so now what I do next is I plot these points below the number line. So when I plot 179, there's 180. So 179 is like right here. Alright, that's my lower quartile. Alright, my lowest number is 173, so it's right there. Between 165 and 180. Okay, my median was 239, so that's right before 240. Alright, my upper quartile is 257. So that's 255, so 257 is about right there. And my highest value was 295. That's right there. So right now, I don't have, see this box here? I don't have the box or the lines. All I have is dot, 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 and dot. Now, after doing that, then what I do, after I plot my dots, then I make what's called a box, the box part. The box part is right here. It covers the lower quartile to the upper quartile. That's your box. Okay, that's your box. All right, this line right here is your median. That's that number right there, 239. Now, so after you make the box, after you put in your median, then you make your whiskers. That's one whisker right there, and that's the other whisker right there. All right, to repeat once again, you put your numbers in order from least to greatest 
you find the median of all the data you find the median of the lower half you find the median of the upper half then you draw a number line and the number line should be based on your data up here here they're going by 15's but you could have gone by 5's, by 10's, by 20 whatever is convenient for you to get all the data in alright now after that what you do is then you plot your points below the line so you plot this point plot that point plot that point plot that point then plot that point after that you draw your box after drawing your box you draw a dot you draw a dash line or a line segment through the uh, meeting of all the data then you make your whiskers and that's why they call it a box and whisker plot interpret a box and whisker plot a box and whisker plot separates data into four groups the two parts of the box and the two whiskers each part contains approximately the same number of data values each whisker represents about 25 percent of the data so from here to here is 25 percent from here to here is 25 percent the box on each side of the median represents about 25 percent of the data so from here to here is 25 percent from here to here is 25 percent all right so here's another way of looking at this from here to here 25 from here to here 25 from here to here is also 25 percent from here to here 25 percent so 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent you know that the range of a data set is the difference of the maximum value and the minimum value so the range then would be this value minus that value now something called the interquartile range of the data set is the difference of the upper quartile and the lower quartile so the interquartile range then is the difference between this number and this number interquartile range this number and this number interpret variation the interquartile range measures the variation in the middle half of the data and ignores the extreme values whose variation may not be representative of the data example 2 interpret a box and whisker plot precipitation the Bosque and Whisker plot below shows the normal precipitation in inches each month in Dallas and in Houston, Texas. All right, so here's the Bosque and Whisker plot for Dallas, and here's the Bosque and Whisker plot for Houston. A. For how many months is Houston's precipitation less than 3.5 inches? B. Compare the precipitation in Dallas with the precipitation in Houston solution for Houston the lower quartile is 3.5 that's 3.5 right there a whisker represents 25 percent of the data so 3.5 and back so for 25 percent of 12 months or three months Houston has less than 3.5 inches of precipitation now for B they want us to compare the precipitation in Dallas with the precipitation in Houston. B. The median precipitation for a month in Dallas is 2.6 inches. So Dallas is 2.6, the median. The median for Houston is 3.8 inches. That's the median for Houston. In general, Houston has more precipitation. For Dallas, the interquartile range is 3.2 minus 2.3 or 0.9 inches. All right, now don't forget interquartile range is the upper 
minus the lower, 3.2 minus 2.3. For Houston, the interquartile range is 4.4 minus 3.5, which is equal to 0.9. So 4.4 minus 3.5. Once again, upper quartile minus the lower quartile. So the cities have the same variation in the middle 50% of the data. That's because from here to here is 50%. 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. Once again, I'm going to read it again. So the cities have the same variation in the middle 50% of the data. The range for Dallas is greater than the range for Houston. When all the data are considered, Dallas has more variation in precipitation. Okay, now one thing I want you to take note of is that it doesn't matter what size a Boskin whisker plot is, the percentages are the same. So the spacing of the segments doesn't matter. For example, from here to here is 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. From here to here, 25%. From here to here, 25%. From here to here is 25%. And from here to here is 25%. All right, some other combinations. From here to here is 50%. That and that would give you 50%. From here to here would be 75%. If you went the other way, from here to there would be 75%. All right, from here to here, seventy-five percent. From here to to the end of there is twenty uh, seventy-five percent. Once again, twenty-five percent, 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 twenty-five percent. Size does not matter. Outliers, a value that is widely separated from the rest of the data in a data set, is called an outlier. Typically, a data value is considered to be an outlier if it is greater than the upper quartile by more than 1.5 times the interquartile range, or if it is less than the lower quartile by more than 1.5 times the interquartile range. Example 3, Standardized Test Practice. The normal monthly amounts of precipitation in inches in Dallas are, and here we have our numbers. These data were used to create the box and whisker plot in example two. Which value, if any, is an outlier? 1.9, 5.2, 1.9 and 5.2, or D, no outlier? Solution, from example two, you know that the interquartile range of the data is 0.9 inch. Find 1.5 times the interquartile range. So 1.5 times 0.9 is equal to 1.35. From example 2, you also know that the lower quartile is 2.3 and the upper quartile is 3.2. A value less than 2.3 minus 1.35 that's the value you got from 1.5 times 9, which was times 0.9, which was the interquartile range. So once again, a value less than 2.3 minus 1.35 equals 0.95 is an outlier. A value greater than 3.2 plus 1.35, which is equal to 4.55, is an outlier. Notice that 5.2 is greater than 4.55. So the correct answer is going to be B. So in essence then, to make this simple, all you're really doing is you look at your lower quartile and then you subtract this number. And you look at your upper quartile and you add this number. So any number lower than this would be an outlier. Any number greater than 4.55 would be an outlier, and that number is 5.2.